Go ahead. I thought it was automatic, um, like with the CDF, but no. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it, it, it would be, except sometimes we start meetings with private conversations and don't want them recorded. <laughs> okay, so, so Nilma, this was one where, where for me, this project idea is a, is a good example of, hey, get started by cloning it and running the tests, do some experiments, and, and this page installing Docker is actually already using Plugin Installation Manager and gives you a good experiment that you can run. So it's, oh, hey, look, I, I, I started with the base image and you and I can ignore these things. This stuff is all magic needed for tutorials. This second line, ah, and now I have all these plugins ready and a Docker image that I can use to build it, to, to, to experiment. So that's that's the that gives you a hint of what this could be. Uh, can you please put the link to the Jitter channel of that? Yeah, that sure. page. Sure. You bet. I, Absolutely. Uh, I've put it in so. the chat to the Gitter to the Gitter channel. If that's okay, you thank you so much. You're welcome, and and that is a good place to ask questions as you develop your proposal, um, as well as attending these office hours and, and our Slack channels. So people are definitely willing to help you. Um, oh, Sekar has jumped off. Um, yeah, we're, we're very excited about GSOC and, and there are a number of very good developers who, who are more than happy to help mentor you through the proposal stage as well. Yeah, now, now one, of the, one of the interesting challenges of this particular this particular project is this how can we use other update centers and there is there is at least for me some very very important information that you you need to learn about how does jenkins do downloads and how does it check an update center and and how does it use the data from the update center so for instance, there's this site, updates.jenkins.io, that is, is the introduction to the Jenkins update site. And this thing gives you the, the starting point to learn more about how Jenkins performs updates because there are 200, over 250,000 Jenkins installations updating plugins in Jenkins, checks sites, that are globally distributed and does interesting and fascinating things with trying to assure that it doesn't overload any single server. So Update Center is, is good. And I'm posting the link to that as well. Okay. Uh, can I ask another question? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, um, up to now, I have done is uh, what I have done is uh, install the Jenkins and uh, did some experiments. So, is there uh, any easy way to uh, easily engage with this project? I mean, uh, is it essential to? Uh, have a good, uh, have a deep knowledge about uh, Jenkins tool? No, no, actually it's not. So at least I started contributing to Jenkins because I was interested and I didn't have any particular skills other than I was interested. So if you're interested, now Kara, maybe you can offer additional insights there on, on what it's like to be a newcomer. Uh, indeed, I, I've just joined the Jenkins project from, from a different project. And um, it, it is an on-ramp, but we do have a lot of documentation on getting, starting to use Jenkins and learning more about how it works. And also, con again, contacting people on the Gitter channels or the Slack channels is really helpful. Um, in addition, one of the nice things to do when you're engaging with learning about Jenkins for the first time and how it works, if at any point the documentation 
isn't clear to you, or even if you find it's incorrect, like it's a great moment to start making your first PRs and contributing to the project. Like that's, you know, fantastic way in, always appreciated. So that's a nice engagement. Oh, thank you. Uh, is my voice is audible? Yes. Hello, Saga. How are you? Uh, hi, hi, I'm good. Hello, everyone. So um, from last week, um, I learned about Jenkins and made my first plugin and extended it. And I have a question like um, there is one project idea in the project list for regarding REST API, which is, I guess, being continued from the last GSOC. But as like this year, um, the, uh, the GSOC timeline is like cut down to half. So is the project is the same? Yeah, this one, automatic specification generator. So, I mean, um, I, read, I read this project idea twice or thrice, but I don't get much about it. Um, I don't know, but I'm just still learning about Jenkins, yeah. I, I just wanna yeah, contribute, uh, yeah, so. And that's, go ahead, Cara. No, I was just gonna say, um, we don't, we don't expect you to come into this project uh, with a huge amount of Jenkins prior knowledge. So that's absolutely fine that you're learning that is the point of uh, Google Summer of Code. Um, but part of your time now as you prepare for your application is actually to take these project proposals and, and or these project ideas and to formulate them as proposals. So to engage with the material and in many ways kind of form your own project proposal. So the, the part of this idea that interest you the most or that you feel would be good for you for the time of Google Summer of Code. And that is what you apply to Google Summer of Code with, that proposal that you've um, crafted yourself. But this isn't something that we expect you to do alone. You're more than welcome to come to these office hours. In addition, um, in the chat, we have a link to our GSOC Gator channel. So that is a really good place to ask questions and responses tend to be very quick so, and very helpful. As well, we have Slack channels for Jenkins, which are also oh, good. For that's asking. good to hear sure. then, yeah. So um, that um, link to the Gator channel is in the GSOC SIG? Yes, it's yeah. for the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you see that link? Because sometimes with Zoom, if someone's put a link in before you join, those prior links aren't uh, visible? No, I can't, no. Okay, I'll, I'll repaste it. <laughs> that happens. Okay. There you go. Uh, um, Hello, okay. Rahul. Um, I'm already in this group, I guess, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Great. Yeah, the team is helping me a lot to setting up my first plug. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Very good. Well, and, and you expressed interest in this REST API. Um, the, the, the Jenkins REST API is rich and very, very deep, but is also not fundamentally documented in a general consumable way. And this open API specification concept um, would allow us to more correctly describe and more thoroughly describe the REST APIs that are available in Jenkins. So the project is, is fascinating to me because what it's, its goal is to, is to investigate to see if there is a way to automatically extract REST API documentation from Jenkins based on its source code or based on its Java classes. And if not, identify what we would need to do to encourage people to create rest, better REST API documentation as they're creating new content, as they're creating new components. Okay, so basically like um, um, regarding like REST API, so someone is using REST API like in the Jenkins. So um, what this project, what this task is going to do is, is going to create a documentation for that REST API is that using open API, right? Correct, that's, that's the goal here. And, and Jenkins, Jenkins has a REST API, right? Let's, let me just bring up the REST API. So let's on any Jenkins page, if you append, the suffix slash API to it, 
you'll see a description of the REST API and how it can be used with XML or JSON or Python. And, mm -hmm. and there's good guidance there. And, and that works truly on any location. So if I navigate to a particular job and go look at that particular job, and if I look even at one run of that job, now I can say slash API and the API is specific to that job. So, so the REST API is quite rich, but that richness is not backed by good documentation, which is what this, this proposal is offering, is that having a rich API is great, but having a documented rich API is even better. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, uh, now I understand, I guess. Okay, yeah. Okay, I will look into this. Like, uh, like I wanna work with REST API, so that's why it's also fascinating to me, yeah. Good. Well, and and this this is for me. I find it interesting because Jenkins REST APIs are contributed by plugins, uh, and because they're contributed by plugins, it's not it's not that you can just read the core and and generate the entire REST API. The REST API comes from from each plugin that contributes may also contribute REST API endpoints. So Sagar, did that do you do you feel like that will help you get started exploring your interest in REST API? Uh yeah, I guess somewhat. Yeah, I will get started with this now. Yeah. I mean I will explore about this API more. And if I have any question, I will yeah, leave it in the SIG. Yeah. Great. All right. Like so far I have a lot of time to work on it. So maybe I guess. Yeah, I will work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I like how how this how Oleg has phrased this one. That the student is expected to make a few projects, a few proposals on how to specify and generate. Notice that word "a few." The intent is that not all of them will be accepted. In fact, each of them will be used as a way to tune the the what should the final project plan look like. So the sooner people start discussing the healthier it is in those discussions. Oh, I think this is a good idea. I tr think we should try that. And don't be, don't be, don't hesitate to offer the proposals because it helps, helps you learn and it helps others give guidance so that your learning can be directed more effectively. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. So I just want to repeat so that I, I don't misunderstand anything. So basically, if, so currently there, there are APIs for in the Jenkins, but there are no, not well documented. So in this project, we are going to um, document those APIs, not all of them, because there are a lot of plugins also that are integrated with them, but at least few of them to just um, have a um, at least architecture of getting started with this project, I guess, proposal. Yeah, I would I would add one important word there, and, mm -hmm. and that is the, the automated REST API documentation because this project idea is not actually an exercise in creating documentation. It's an exercise in creating the program that would extract the documentation that, that already exists in Java.comments comments or in the API signatures. Uh, so, so the, the challenge here is, is truly a, a programming exercise, not a documentation exercise. Yeah, using Swagger or whatever open API, right? Exactly, good, right. So, so just wanted to be sure, we've, we've also participated in Google season of docs where we focused on documentation, but this is a coding exercise, not a documentation exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I already read about this little bit of yeah, yeah, Swagger. Yeah, so I will look into it. First, I will try to understand the Swagger and then I will look into the API stuff. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And I mean, previously, what you like um, talked about, like Docker and um, I will, uh, and is there is a recording of this meeting? 
we I can access after this? There, there will be, yes. So, well, okay, there will be after the initial roughly 10 minutes where I had forgotten to turn on the recording. Yes, yes, we will okay. post the recording and, okay. and the recording will be available. Okay, that's great then, because I will refer this later on if I forget something. Super, yeah. Okay. Let's see, and there were, so we've, we've talked today about two of them. Specification two of the project ideas. Um, we could go into remoting monitoring or Rahul, you've you've been relatively quiet. Was there any question that you specifically had? Right. Uh, hi everyone. Hi. Hello everyone. Right. So actually there were a lot of people in my room earlier, so I couldn't turn my mic on. Right. So actually I am relatively new to this. Uh, field. I mean, I have been sort of dabbling in programming, but I haven't really gone, gotten very far. So I'm pretty new to this and Sagar basically forced me to apply. Okay. Right. So actually, as of now, I'm very clueless as to what Jenkins is, as to what REST API is. So yeah, I'm just trying to uh, sort of keep up with what you guys are saying right now. No problem. Welcome, welcome. Just like all of us, we all start start at the beginning. So that's great. Delighted to have you. There, there are many very effective tutorials on how to use Jenkins on the Jenkins site. So, for example, if we go to the documentation here, tutorials, uh, the ones that that I've used with Docker, I like a lot. But using build tools because. I cared about com compiling software. And in my case, I tend to be a Java developer first and a Python developer second. So those two have been mine that I've used. If you're uh, a JavaScript coder, you might want to try the Node.js uh, tutorial. But they're, they're all usable on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, they need a Docker installation for these. So they'll give you good experience with Docker as well. All right, so uh, as, uh, so right now I'm a first year student in my university. So we have got Python in our syllabus and I I was trying a couple of days ago to write a Google app script. So I picked a few things up in JavaScript, but aside from them, I don't really know anything about JavaScript as well. So yeah, I think so I'll check out what the Python app is. Great, and, and, and yeah. that's, a, that's a good tutorial. And you have, you have chosen the right language for Kara and for me. We are both devoted, <laughs> devoted Python bigots and we love Python, so that's great. All right, Kara, we generally only go for about 30 minutes. Are there other questions that people had? Like I would like us to know that he loves Java. <laughs> I think Mark loves Java too, so you're in good company. And actually, um, yes, many many of the developers involved with Jenkins love Java. <laughs> well, well, and and most of Jenkins is Java, and therefore most of my production code that I maintain is Java. Absolutely. So so yes, no no question that Java is Java is a, is a great choice. Excellent. <laughs> Um, Raul, I, I just wanted to make sure that you um, are aware we have a Gitter channel for GSOC. It's in the chat. You can. Yes, uh, I've already joined it, actually. Awesome. Perfect. So good. And then we also have Slack channels for our community in general. Both those places are really good areas to ask questions and get um, informed responses. So. Um, can you oh, share sure. the channel, please? Sorry, share which channel, Sagar? Uh, Links Slack to the channel. Slack channel. Yeah, so Kara, I'm not aware of an active Slack channel for Jenkins users. I thought we were, oh, okay, sorry, it's, it's all Gitter. I am incorrect. No, well, no, there there probably are active Jenkins Slack conversations going on in the yeah. in the Kubernetes Slack channels, for instance, yeah. but the I don't actively monitor them. So Gitter and, Gitter and IRC are the two places where I tend to monitor. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, that's great. As Tim is 
so helpful to me he is always helping me with my even dumb doubts also um, uh, i just i just want to say like i don't know much about docker so should i first learn about docker and kubernetes before jumping into the swagger and rest api stuff because for me i found it, whatever your learning style is is great but for me i find it easier to have something that motivates my learning and therefore i started learning docker because i needed it for jenkins and i used it by working with jenkins in docker but that was because i cared about jenkins and so if there's something that matters to you where hey i'd like to learn this you can learn i think you can learn docker and jenkins together almost as readily as you would learn them separately oh, okay yeah then i will look into docker also yeah Okay. Any any other topics? Okay, I think we're set then. Cara, are you okay if we close the session and Absolutely. call it? Absolutely. And our recording? next yeah. Oh. Sounds excellent. Great. See you all in uh, just, in uh, get her and in this meeting yeah. if you have any more questions uh, and where we can get this recording link i'll post it in the gitter channel okay okay yeah thank you bye uh, all right thank you thank you thank you all right thank you